So I'm going to be doing one of my most requested videos. Can I please see your CGC books? You certainly can. So thank you very much guys, it's Jason Parker here from Jason Parker Comics. I should have done this video a long time ago. The problem is I've sold a lot of my CGC inventory to pay for more higher spec books. So I've probably sold about 50 odd slabs, but I still have 83 left. So before I go ahead and show you all my books that I've laid out quite neatly for you, please can you make sure that you subscribe to my channel. We're very near to that 2000 subscriber giveaway. I think I'm about 50 odd subscribers away, so we're nearly there and it gives you a chance to win that Strange Academy number one. Also, please leave a comment on the video. Uh, let me know what you think of any books and what other ideas you might like to see from me and what I'd like to do in future videos. Also, if you could make sure you hit up that like button for me, that would be absolutely awesome. It would help me immensely. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's do this. So first of all, please accept my apologies for the terrible camera work. But as you can see, there's quite a large selection of books, like I say, 83 in total, and there's a good mix of books. Now, as you can see, I've got a whole shelf dedicated to Amazing Spider-Man. I've got 24, 25, 35, 41, 52, 50, which of course is the first appearance of Kingpin. You've got a cracking cover here, of um, Craven the Hunter, the number 47, 44. Then we, as we scroll down, we've got 53. 59, 64, and 66. Look at that cover there with, with Mysterio and a CGC 9.0. Absolutely beautiful. What a cover. And then as we go down, we've got number 70. And again, a really high grade at number 100, a CGC 9.0. We've got Amazing Spider Man 151. I love that cover. And we've got, of course, first pins of Black Cat signed by Marv Wolfman in a CGC 8.5. Now we've got the first appearance of Werewolf by Night. And we've got the Eternals, New Agents of Atlas, Young Avengers number 10, Spider-Men number 2 with the bad Miles Morales. Ooh, naughty boy. Then you've got Ultimate Fallout number 4, of course, first Miles Morales. You've got the Fantastic Four books there, 48, 49, and of course the annual number six. Now this is a particular nice row here. You've got 298, 299, 300, and 301, all in a 9.6. And yes, that is a CBCS book in a newsstand. <clears throat> and this is another nice little shelf. You've got Hulk 180 in an 8.5, a Hulk 181 in an 8.0, and a 181 in a 5.5. And look at this, guys. From 1974, a 9.4 awesome book. Fantastic Four 52 there. First Pins of Black Panther in a 3.5. Submariner 5.5. First Juggernaut there, X Men 12, 5.0. And you've got Tomb of Dracula number one in a CBCS 9.0. I am going to get that sent off and get it pressed and graded with CTC. And you've got a couple here of Proctor Valley Road, some modern books, Thundercats. Immortal Hulk number 16 with the uh, the 8-bit variant or 16-bit variant. You just saw um, Frankenstein's monster there. Another great book. Okay, look at this. Sinister Six, guys. First appearance. Amazing Spider-Man annual number one. What a book. Beautiful, beautiful book. In a CGC 3.5. One of the first very big books that I bought. Then you've got Marvel Spotlight 5. Ghost Rider in a 3.5. And look, Daredevil, CGC 2.0, number one. What a book. And look at this, Marvel Premiere 47. First Scott Lang as Ant-Man, 9.4. you got Thor there, 3.37. First appearance of Beta Ray Bill in a 9.6. And then you've got first Carol Danvers in Avenging Spider-Man number nine. Mighty Avengers, 69. Invincible Iron Man number nine. Now that's a super rare variant. You got Young Avengers number one, massive spec book. And here come the Silver Foils, guys. Look at that, a 9.9 .9 in Amazing Fantasy 15. Superman number one, 9.9. .9. Then you got Action Comics number one in a 9.8. Beautiful books. You've got Venom Lethal Protector number one there in a 9.8. That's my giveaway there, look guys, 9.8 Strange Academy. Infamous Iron Man number one, a good spec book to have. Then you've got Thundercats in an 8.0. That is the new stand copy. 
And then you've got one of my favourite covers ever. It's Wolverine number 17 in a CGC 9.4 newsstand. Just look at that cover, guys. It just pops, doesn't it? Then you've got Marvel Super Hero Secret Wars number 1 in an 8.5. You've got Generations, Ms. Marvel vs. Ms. Marvel number 1 in a 9.8. Young Avengers 10 in a 9.4. And that lovely Tomb of Dracula number 1, 8.5. Then you've got Marvel Spotlight number 32, first appearance of Spider-Woman in a 7.5. You've got the first appearance of the Living Tribunal uh, in an 8.5. What a great book that is, super high grade. You've got Amazing Spider-Man 238 in a 9.6, first Hobgoblin. And you've got X-Men 4 there, first Omega Red there in a 9.8 as well. A bit disappointed that that never came off after uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, but hey ho. Then you've got Doctor Strange here, number 173. Bit of a special book, this one. Uh, belongs to the Mile High 2 collection. But unfortunately, CGC do not recognise it as a pedigree book. Then you've got Phantom Stranger, number 14. And this is a lovely book, guys. It's in a 6.0. And it's thought to be one of the first prototypes for Swamp Thing. Then you've got Incredible Hulk number 102. This was the very first standalone issue after Hulk number 6. So it's a, quite a big key book. Then you've got X-Men 94 in an 8.5. You all know the troubles I had with that book. Then we go to the magazine section where we've got Vampire Tales number 1 in an 8.5. It's got stories about Morbius in there. You've also got uh, Vampire Tales number 5 in a 9.0. Uh, with Count Yorga, again Morbius, and this is quite a nice book here. Marvel Preview presents the Legion of Monsters in a CGC 9.4 Marvel Preview 8. Blades in this one, check that out. Another great book down here guys, uh, this is CGC 6.0 signed by Chris Claremont, Giant Size X-Men number 1, Amazing Spider-Man 129 needs no introduction, You've got Tomb of Dracula number 10 here, first Blade. And you've got first appearance of Brother Voodoo. Still don't know why it's got that Condon jacket on. It should have taken that one off. Never mind. Then you've got X-Men 101, first Phoenix. Fantastic Four 67, which is the first cameo of him. Uh, Invincible Iron Man number 14. Star Slayer number 2, which is the first Rocketeer. You've got X-Men Annual number 14, which is the first appearance of Gambit, apparently. And then Marvel Team Up 93, where Spider-Man meets Werewolf by Night. So, there you go, that's my collection. And for the eagle-eyed amongst you, you may notice there's one or two CBCS labs in there. Um, still contemplating getting them cleaned and pressed and sent off to CGC. But yeah, 83 books, guys, and I think I will still be whittling them down a little bit more and concentrating on perhaps higher-end books if I can. Um, so, that's it, that's my collection. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you like them. Uh, it's taken me about it's taken me about five, six years to get to this. Uh, so it's not an overnight thing. It's something that happens over time. Uh, so you've got to be sometimes at the right time, right place to pick up a, a great deal on a book. And of course, with the comic market the way it is at the moment, with comic books coming down in value, the bigger books that you've always been after should be more attainable now. So hopefully... Just keep your eyes out and see what you can get. But again, thank you for watching. It's greatly appreciated. Look after yourselves and I'll see you real soon. Bye now.